So today we're at White Space in Edinburgh. We have invited our pilot teachers from last year, new pilot teachers for our next session, and a whole variety of different people from industry, and we are showcasing our new resources. So what I think is really important today is that everything's all come together. We're seeing the success of the pilot so far, we're seeing how successful it could be in future and really we're just trying to promote that this needs to be in every school in Scotland or even globally. Like we're seeing it change lives, we're seeing it have positive impact and we want to push that as far as we can. I think what's most exciting is seeing how excited teachers are about the qualification. We already know that young people want to think creatively and want to think imaginatively about their future environment in the world and the communities that they live in. But it's particularly refreshing to see education professionals be enthused and enlivened again by getting new, new ways of you know, teaching and engaging with young people. As a teacher, you're always kind of looking for things that are kind of engaging, uh, up to date, and I think the daydream stuff engages kids straight away. You don't have to kind of bring that, they take it on board straight away just because things look professional, believable, uh, and the stuff's real. I like the impact. I love hearing the stories that are coming out today, what the kids have been doing with these resources and the playlist. Really inspiring, quite emotional, and just a big thumbs up for this as a qualification. Everybody's really engaged in it. For me, the, the qualification is really exciting because it's a different type of assessment. It's looking at a different set of skills for young people. So instead of focusing on that exam-based portfolio work, it's really thinking about really being creative and engaging young people in the different qualifications that they've been developing. The wish would be that all kids in every school could get this. You know, is, this has got to be funded and it's got to be supported as an essential part of education. The, the stuff we're doing is real and um, is relevant and a lot of people talk about collaborative learning, a lot of people talk about sustainability and, and so on, but this is, this is actually allowing kids to exercise it and, and learn along the way. As the opportunity to encourage students to do things they wouldn't normally do at school, um, to build skills that they're going to need for career and future learning. We're creating the new designers of the world, we're teaching them skills they're going to need when they leave school, we're teaching them about real world issues and we're doing that within a classroom setting. Whatever role you go into in the future, particularly if we want to solve some of the biggest problems that we have, is we need to learn how to think creatively. It's a hard thing to teach, but I think Daydream Believers are, are, are doing it. 